if you are here right now, you are about to witness the final completion of the Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl Elite Four in our hardcore Nuzlocke. Let's do it, team! I'm ready for your dust talks. All right, we're going first, obviously. We are a Crobat with maxed out speed EVs. Let's go, we hit, we hit, we hit. Mm. Quiver Dance? What the hell does Quiver Dance do? Does that boost like the special attack and um, special defense? I think, and their, and their speed, right? That's crazy, that move's so cracked. Okay, this should, this should one shot? Yes, yes. Yes! Light screen wore off, it's burned. Fly is actually really good against burn because it makes them burn themselves for a turn. Okay. That hit, that hit, let's go. All right, Mrs. Queen. We're gonna use Pogwam against you too. <coughs> We're gonna send out Drapion. Drapion's only weak to ground and Drapion is gonna be the scariest Pokemon they have. So we need to switch into something that, we need to switch into, um. oh, we need to switch into Clefable. So we go Clefable. Clefable will bait a poison move, right? So we switch to Clefable, which is immune to dark, or it's immune to dragon. I think dark is bad against Clefable. Let's see what, so against Clefable, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna, it's gonna hit, Clefable's, it's gonna take a hit against Clefable, we're gonna, Clefable's gonna take a hit, and then we kill with Gurchomp. I think that's the move. Sir, what would you approve my strategy here? Night Slash is the only move it can use here, yes. So it Night Slashes our Crobat, but we, we swap, then we go Clefable. Clefable swaps to Garchomp, which is going to get hit by a Poison-type move, and then it's going to resist the Poison-type move, and then we go Earthquake. I just have to see if we would go first. That's the issue. Do we go first is the question. And we, we, can't, we have no other strategy. We have no other strategy. I think we have to do this. This is just our strategy. This is our strategy. All right. You turn. My game just break? Are you kidding me right now? What is this, Nintendo? What the hell is this? Are you kidding me? Are you flipping kidding me? Pokemon bugged diamond and shipped early pearl. Wow, you gotta be kidding me, man. That's absolutely absurd. All right, and now we're back in the same position with the same exact state, same exact game state perfectly. Okay, U-turn, here we go. All right, cool, no crashes. Nice, okay, reasonable amount of damage, honestly. Reasonable amount of damage. It's gonna, um, I guess it's gonna do about 60 to 80 damage. So it did, it did Night Slash. So yeah, the other move will definitely one-shot me. <sighs> we should have given Garchomp speed. But that's okay. No regrets. No regrets. Okay. Don't do much. Yes. Okay. That's really, really good. It's not effective. Let's see what happens. Earthquake. All right. We're going second. We're going second. Whew. Oh, that was a critical hit too. Yes. Oh. Take that Drapion. Oh. Oh, mama. Uh, let's play something more relaxing. Let's do it, team. Let's freaking show this old hag what we got inside of us. That came out wrong. Um, um, yeah, let's show her how we can beat her team. That one. So we're gonna Stealth Rock here. They're hopefully just gonna use Toxic. Doesn't really matter what they use though. We're gonna switch into Crobat. Yep, Toxic is gonna get stopped by our Berry. Yep. Doesn't affect Pogwam. Now we shall switch into Rosary. Oh, we could have just switched into Monokuma because it's poison also. Oh, that was lame. Um, it will do, yeah, it will do max, it will do, it will do insane amounts of damage, especially to Hippodon, which is what we wanted. Okay, they took Toxic Spike damage. Grass Knot. Oh, they have the thing to prevent, to make it not super effective, I guess. What? They survived at one? Moment.
it? No, because the the thing broke sturdy. No, the 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 spikes broke sturdy. That's why we use spikes. Are you kidding me? Every single Pokemon, we have to run it back. If we if we don't one shot everything, then we lose our dude. That's okay though. I think we're gonna one shot everything else. That was the only one that had a Rindo Berry. All right, Grass Knot. Here it is. Yes. Oh. Two more. Maybe one more? Is that the second to last one? Right to his nose. Hit put on his Sandstream and Chesto Berry. We go first. It's 2x weak to grass. Hit put on weighs a whopping 600 pounds. So we should have a 120 base attack damage grass knot. Nick is like sack it. I think we have to sacrifice it. How else are we beating this, this dude? Like this is gonna get sauced by Ice Beam. This is gonna get sauced by Crunch. I think it's better to take the guaranteed death against Mon on Monokuma. I think it is going to die. I'm almost positive it's going to die. If we had Giga Drain, we would have been fine. God damn it. We should have had Giga Drain. <sighs> Goodbye, Monokuma. This is really tragic. You were a good Pokemon. We'll miss you. You did so well for us. I'm so proud of you. You are so amazing. Thank you for carrying this entire, this entire battle. Oh, thank you for carrying the battle. Please don't die to the, the sandstorm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Let's flip and go. Yo, trainer. You had me counting the days of my fingers waiting for you to come. I heard from Valkner what you did in Sunny Shore. You managed to light a fire in that guy's heart again. How could you not expect me to look forward to seeing you in battle? Hello, Flint. I'm ready. Your fiery heart will be crushed by the dominance of my superior Pokemon. Rapidash has a 70% chance to hit with Hypnosis. We're gonna use double team, then they will have possibly like a 50% chance to hit. Even if they hit the first one, we have a Ganlin Berry, but we can use. Let's go avoid it twice because of the superpowers. Oh my God, Shadow Clone Jutsu. Please, please switch out Steelix. Oh, they hit me. What did they just use? I don't even know what they just did there. All right, Flint, here we go. It tastes good with any milk if you put enough chocolate in it. I don't have good milk. You've- what? They put low punny in? Earthquake just does so much damage. Void of the attack. Amazing. And they are at 50% accuracy. Crashed. Nice. They're gonna die now. Yep. Stab Earthquake. Too powerful. Does this Steelix have sturdy? I think it does. No, Steelix has sheer force and life orb. Never mind. Doesn't have sturdy. I mean, we're gonna go after the the Infernape, but let's say Infernape lands like, let's say Infernape lands close combat. Will a, will a, will a close combat kill us? I'm kind of thinking we go for the Clefable strat against Driftblim. There we go. Thank God. Here is the big moment of truth. This is a big a big important um thing. I'm under the impression that we switch, so we're gonna actually have to take two hits from an Infernape, which means I'm almost positive. The correct strategy is the Clefable Stall Strat. Nope, it is not Rest Sleep Talk. It is the Clefairy Stall, Clefairy Stall Strat. So here we go. You are going to have to beat this Drifloom. They're going to use Will-O-Wisp. It's not going to affect us. It's going to burn us, but we're not going to take any status uh, damage from that, which is actually good because now we have a, we have something that doesn't do anything to us. Oh, it heals with the sheer determination. Amazing. That's actually bad, honestly. I and mean, burn will lower our stat. Our, our why do they keep trying to will o wisp us? Once we minimize a ton of times, we're eventually just going to start increasing our defense and special defense. This is actually very scary. Oh no! We will definitely tank a hit from the Infernape. We can tank one hit. I think we start cosmic powering. A critical will break through cosmic power, but also it would need to hit. We could also just start shockwaving it, but I think cosmic power is better. Let's cosmic wave. We're gonna go for the long game here. This is fine. You can break the sash. Or I doubt it. I don't infernate one shots you. 
Yeah, Infernape I don't think can one-shot us. Definitely not now that we've raised our, our stuff two times. We have raised everything four stages now. We have um we have a healing move in case we need it. I doubt we will. They're gonna use full restore here. Uh what's a shockwave? Oh, okay. Oh wow, they hit us. <laughs> oh, wow, it was a critical hit! Oh my god, that's crazy. Wow. Shockwave, let's go. Let's flip and go. GG Flint. Got him. Sliced him. Three for three. No deaths. Burnt right to cinders. Yes, you are. You are burnt right to cinders, my friend. Wow, it's Ollie with the with the thirteen, and we got and we got rigged in with the eight. Wait, what? Did that happen at the same time? So confused. What good timing for the music. Okay, we just wow. Um, hi. Did you guys time that, or did you just like? Did you time that? Did you guys know we were doing this today? Did you, did you time this together? Thanks, end guy, for all the hydrates. All right. Shout out to Ollie and Rigden, who, by the way, both we we happen to have. Oh my god, this is so this is so cool. Okay, let's give some shout outs to you guys. Um, Ollie and and Rigden, you guys may remember we had them both on our game show previously. We had them both on the spelling bee, which is pretty sweet. And we've also played a couple games of them here and there. I'm a user of psychic types. I'm Lucian. Hello, Lucian. I must say you've already proven yourself to be an outstanding by coming this far. I'm the toughest of the elite form. I'm afraid you'll have to go all out against you to live up to that reputation. All right, Lucian. Whatever you say, my dude. All right, Mr. Frickin' Mime, dudes. Mr. Frickin' Mime. I avoided the move. What did they actually try to use against us? I used Minimize again. They just tried to attack us. Let's go... Minimize one more. Oh, Psychic's what they're using. Did you know only 15 Pokemon can learn Minimize by level up? I didn't actually know that. All right, so we've maximized our evasion. Reflect. That was turn seven of light screen. Turn three of reflect. There's no more light screen. That was that a critical hit? Yep, full restore, that's fine. Oh, that's why our things are doing so little damage because of because of reflect. Or because of light screen. That's why our attacks are doing so little damage. Dazzling Gleam. That's not going to do very much. Okay. This is turn six of light screen. We're going to use Dazzling Gleam on you. It's also not going to do very much. All right. Cool. So that's the last turn of light screen. So now light screen and reflect are both done. And look at that light screen. We're off. And now it's Alakazam's turn. Right, well, then I'm glad we're using cosmic power. We can actually use cosmic power one more time too. <clears throat> Let's just also use this as an opportunity to heal. Just so we don't get hosed by critical. I think we can fade critical for our full health. It's so OP, I can understand feeling bad about it. Yeah, it's just very OP. It just feels like I'm almost playing a different game. You did great, Acrylics. All right, this is turn eight of... Wait. This is turn... Oh, no, this is turn seven of light screen. Wait. Wait, no, this is turn seven of light screen. Oh no, I turn I put her I put him out a turn too early. I think we should still be fine. I think we should still be fine because it's a critical and it's a stab move, so I think it should just still one-shot it. Let's go! Now light screen we're switch to Miss Drevis, Which is immune to fighting. And then Miss Drevis uses Shadow Ball first. We can switch in a fighting type resist oh yeah. We can switch in either Clefable or Weevil. Dark resists dark. So we should go Potato. Potato will bait Earthquake because it's 4x effective. We go to Pogwom. Pogwom is going to use U-Turn to chip in for a bit of damage. It's going to, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to bait out Gyro Ball. We're trying our best. We have 50 minutes to beat this game. I think we need to go Potato here and hope that it can tank a Crunch. And I think it can. It's not a stab move and it resists it. So I think we should be fine. Or it's, oh, it's payback. I'm sorry. It's payback. Even better. Great. Now they're going to use Earthquake. 
Pogwam. They're going to use Gyro Ball. What? No! No, 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 no! No! Oh! Why did you use Gyro Ball? You were supposed to use Earthquake. Why did you use Gyro Ball? I guess because Gyro Ball Stab and Steel is still good against... Steel is still good against Ice, but oh my god. Alright, we're going to U-turn because it's free. It's a free move to get a switch. And now I think we have to use... We just have to go to Silent Crow. What else can we do here? All right, it's just Silent Crow, it's just Silent Crow. We just have to go for it now. God darn it. Gosh darn it. All right, don't do a lot of damage. All right, if they critical us, we get cucked. All right, don't die, Garchomp. We need you alive. Yes, how did that one shot? Woohoo! we did it. Let's flip and go. Oh my god, it worked. I didn't think that was gonna work. Called it. Nice call, Christian. That might have been a 50-50, assuming Weevil would die to Earthquake or Gyro Ball. Maybe. True. Congratulations. You've defeated me, however, it doesn't mean you're done with the Pokemon League. There remains the champion. I should warn you, the champion's far stronger than the Elite Four. 